Is your PC running slow due to high CPU usage? Let's fix that. Hi everyone, today in this video I'm going to show you how to solve high CPU usage issue on Windows 11. These are simple steps that work for me that are based on my experience. No complicated tools or third party apps needed. So let's jump in and get started. Based on my experience after working with PCs for many years, I found that most of the time high CPU usage comes down to older hardware. Think about underpowered CPUs struggling with modern apps or insufficient RAM causing everything to bottleneck. But even if you got brand new PC, you can still see spikes in your CPU usage from background services, corrupted drivers, and other rough processes. The good news is that there are simple fixes for both scenarios, whether you need to optimize an older system or tweak a high-end PC to run smoothly. So let's talk about the first way to fix it. You can see my CPU usage is very high right now. This often happens when you got too many programs and apps running at once. What you can do is to close some of them. Let me shut down a few apps I don't need. And there you can see the CPU usage has dropped significantly just by closing a couple of programs. Always keep an eye on the task manager and shut down anything that you're not actively using. For this next part you need to open task manager and the way you can do it is by right clicking on the windows logo and going to task manager. After that another quick win is disabling unnecessary startup apps to free up resources right when windows boots. You can disable programs you don't need at a startup, just right click and choose disable. This stops them from launching automatically and keeps your CPU usage lower. Make sure to research each app before disabling, some are important for system function, disabling the wrong one could affect your features that you rely on. Next open setting, go to system and then power. Under power mode switch to best performance, this boosts CPU speed and responsiveness but keep in mind it can raise energy use and heat. So on laptops use it when plugged in and ensure your PC has good cooling. Another thing you can do is to make sure your system is fully updated. Go to settings, windows update, click check for updates and install any available updates. Updates often include driver fixes, performance optimizations and bug patches that can lower CPU usage. Just heads up, sometimes updates introduce their own issues so it's wise to create a restore point or backup before installing a major update. You can also use efficiency mode in task manager to limit resource consuming apps. Open Task Manager, go to Processes tab, right click on any process using a lot of CPU and select Efficiency Mode. This limits the CPU usage so other programs run smoother. Perfect for background apps you don't want to close them completely. Another step is to scan your PC for malware or viruses. Open Windows Security or your preferred antivirus, go to Virus and Threat Protection and run a scan. Malicious software can consume a lot of CPU so cleaning your computer improves the performance. If you use a third party tool, make sure it's up to date and downloaded from the official website. Moving on, you can also try restarting your PC. A simple reboot clears temporary files and resets system processes, which often brings CPU usage back down. Another option is to perform a fresh install of Windows 11. This gives you a clean state and can eliminate deep rooted issues causing high CPU usage. A fresh install will wipe your system drive. Be sure to back up all your personal files, documents and product key to an external drive or cloud storage and have your installation media and license information ready before you start. If you're not comfortable doing a fresh install on your own, consider seeking professional help. Better safe than sorry, then comes your data and system setup. If none of these options work and your PC isn't brand new, you might want to upgrade your hardware, add more RAM to help multitasking, so up your hard drive for an SSD for faster load times and even consider a faster CPU if your motherboard supports it. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tips. Keep in mind everything I showed you today is based on my own experience. Be sure to do your own research before making any big changes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.